These are all the test kits that I currently own. These are all the test kits that Marine Depot just sent me. Thanks, MD. And these are all the test kits I bought just for the series. This is a lot of test kits. For each test kit, we're gonna do five things. Number one, we're gonna take an up close look at the product and packaging. Number two is we're gonna do a price per test breakdown. Number three, we're gonna look at the quality and durability of each test kit. Number four, we're going to assess how easy it is to use and how easy it is to read the results. And number five, we're gonna look at the best aspect and the worst aspect of each test kit. But if you just wanna skip ahead to the results, just scroll down to the description and click on the timestamp. We're gonna choose a winner from six different categories. Category number one, which test kit is the least expensive? Number two, which is the highest quality? Number three, which kit has the easiest to read results? Number four, which kit is the easiest to use? Number five, which kit is the most accurate? And number six, my overall choice. Leave a comment below and tell me which is your favorite ammonia test kit and why. Links to each of these test kits are in the description below. And as always, it's super helpful if you subscribe, like this video, and turn on the notifications. I think the easiest way to do this is just to go alphabetically. So first up would be... API. There are two ways you can buy the API test kit. You can just buy a single API ammonia test kit. It comes with 130 tests and at the time of filming it was about $10.55. Or you can buy the saltwater master test kit. It comes with 550 tests but that includes pH, ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. If you buy the master test kit you're looking at 4.3 cents for all of those tests but let's be honest you're rarely going to use the pH or the nitrite. But if you just go with the single shot ammonia test kit with 130 tests, the price per test is 8.3 cents. The wait time for the API test kit is really good. It's only five minutes. I am rating this being moderately easy to use. And the reason it's not super easy to use really has to do with the shape of the vial. I've used this test over a hundred times. And this is just a very, very tall, skinny vial. You're putting it here, like the tiniest movement and this thing tips over. So you have to be super careful. I have more than once spilled out the entire contents of this. I wish they made a different vial and make it shorter and wider just so that it's more stable or at least include some sort of stand that you can put the vial into so that it doesn't tip over with any sort of vibration. For quality and durability, we're gonna call this one moderately durable. Now, I would change that to durable if we're talking about the Saltwater Master Test Kit. This is plastic, this thing seals, you can turn it upside down, everything stays put. This is one of the best packages that's out there for the money. But if you're just buying an individual API test kit, it just comes in flimsy cardboard. And we're we're talking about water testing here. Water is going to get places. So over time, this cheap cardboard is going to get wet. It's going to tear. The absolute best characteristic of this, the price point. I, I haven't finished the rest yet, but I'm assuming this is going to be the cheapest price point just based on 8.1 cents per test. I could be wrong. We'll see. But it's very, very inexpensive. The absolute worst characteristic, and I wish they would do something about it, but they leak. No matter how you put this on, no matter how tightly you hold it down, it still leaks and it gets stuff all over the place. <laughs> Thank you. 
For the Red Sea Ammonia Test Kit, there are two ways of purchasing it. The most affordable way of purchasing it is to just buy it separately, the Ammonia Test Kit. These retail for about $19 and they come with 100 tests. Obviously that means it's 19 cents per test. You could also buy it as a part of the Marine Care Test Kit. It comes with its very, very own plastic container, which is excellent when you're talking about salt water. These are definitely more expensive. It's currently retailing for $57, but that includes tests for pH, DKH, ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate, and you get a total of 350 tests. So that brings the overall price per test down to 16 cents. Let's get to it and test them out. Ease of use, I would just rate this as easy. It's probably somewhere between easy and moderate. The vials are definitely shorter and wider, so they're a whole lot more stable. Readability, I don't have any hesitation here. I'm gonna call this one easy. And the reason it's easy, because unlike the API where you have this color graph and then you have to like hold up this vial and the curvature of the vial makes the light refract through it differently and you don't know if you're supposed to touch it to it or hold it further away, this one's easy. All you do is you take it, you put it on a flat surface, Surface, you take your vial and you place it on top and then what do you do? You stand up and you look straight down. So as long as you're in a good lighting situation, it's really, really easy to read the results. Quality and durability, I'm gonna call this one moderately durable. Now, a couple caveats here. Number one, the packaging itself is better. The cardboard itself is quite a bit thicker. And another thing that I like better about the Red Sea Test Kit, this is very, very much so laminated. But if we're talking about the quality and durability of the Marine Care Test Kit, then I would change it from moderately durable to durable because you get a plastic holder for everything. The best thing I like about the test kit is it's easy to read. The worst thing about the ammonia test kit is the scoop. Let me show you what I mean. When you're testing, you probably just saw it in the previous video, you have to try to get an accurate scoop with this little tiny thing. And if you just buy the ammonia test kit, it's almost impossible to get just the right amount. You really need a scoop and then a level in order to like make it perfectly level. Small little pet peeve, but it may affect the overall accuracy of the results. At the time of this video, the retail price for this was $14, and that's $14 for 50 cents. So this is actually one of the more expensive ammonia test kits because the cost per test comes out to 28 cents. Salifert had the shortest wait time coming in at only three minutes. So if doing an ammonia test really fast is your thing, then Salifert may be your go-to. For ease of use for the Salifert test kit, I decided to call it easy because honestly, you have a very kind of wide-based plastic vial and you only have one solution to add and you just have to gently mix it around. So in terms of actual testing, it's really quite simple. For readability, I definitely said difficult. Difficult because I just find it challenging. Like when I was holding this up and trying to decide, was it zero, was it 0.15, was it 0.25, was it 0.5? All I saw was murky water and I didn't even see murky water with a color. So yes, I found this very difficult to read and probably my least favorite so far. Quality, durability wise for the Salford, this is definitely the flimsiest test kit there is. And that's mainly because of the vial. The vial itself is a very, very thin, 
cheapy plastic that if I just pushed my fingers really hard together, it would probably snap in half. The best characteristic I thought of was the wide base for the vial. I wasn't worried it was gonna tip, and the worst characteristic of the Salford Ammonia Test Kit, it's just not very easy to read. The price at the time of this video was $14.80. With 75 tests in here, that comes out to 20 cents per test. So it's not the most expensive, but it's certainly not the cheapest either. Wait time, it's a pretty long wait time. It's a 15 minute wait time, just like the Red Sea. So you have to be patient for this test kit. But the positive on the Seachem test kit is you can test up to six different things at once. So if you have multiple tanks, then it might actually not be that bad. I am saying the ease of use is difficult because I think there was a problem in shipping. I've never ever seen a test kit like this, but it came with this little it looks like a like a contact lens case, right? And I believe it's supposed to be full of a whole bunch of little beads. And you're supposed to use these calipers here and pick up one single tiny bead and dip it in clean water and then put it into the testing area. Well, mine came all clumped together. I can't distinguish. It's almost like they all melted together, rendering this test completely unusable for me. So I tried it once. I didn't get any sort of reading whatsoever. So when it comes to readability, I, I, I just can't say. When it comes to quality and durability, I don't want to leave a comment on it. It didn't, it, it didn't work for me. The really positive aspect about this test kit is that it can test both free and total ammonia. So if you are doing fresh water especially and you're using some sort of like ammonia lock, it can tell you how much ammonia is actually in your tank that is actually not dangerous for your fish. In the saltwater hobby, we don't really use that very much. So not super helpful. All right, so we're done. The results for the ammonia test kit are in. I'm gonna put this right here and you can press pause right now if you wanna see the entire graph. Go ahead, go ahead, press pause. You'll just have to look at my eyes right here. If you could please give us a hand and hit that subscribe button down below, turn on notifications and like this video, that's really helpful to us. And again, the links to all four of the test kits are directly below. The least expensive test kit by a long shot, by more than half, was definitely API, coming in at 8.1 cents. If cost is an issue with you, go with API. They are hands down the least expensive test kit. Number two, highest quality. It was really only between API and Red Sea. And the winner, probably no surprise, was Red Sea. If you just buy this single ammonia test kit, it's just better quality. The cardboard itself is a lot thicker. The vials feel sturdier. It's just an all around higher quality test kit. Easiest to read result, no contest, no contest here. Red Sea wins again. Red Sea is easiest to read mainly because you take the vial and you place it down and you just look straight down. So there aren't issues that the other test kits have with a rounded vial and light refracting through and how far away should you hold it. This one, you place it down, you put it in front of good light and you look at it. Easiest to use, it was really just between Red Sea and Salford. Both are relatively easy to use, but at the end of the day, I went ahead and chose Salifert, mainly because if you're doing a Red Sea test kit, there are three different steps that you have to go through, which just takes longer, and you have to wait 15 minutes for your result. With the Salifert test kit, it's only five minutes to wait and way fewer steps. When it comes to the most accurate test kit, the winner is, 
I don't know. I tried averaging them out and then choosing the median score and it was all over the board. So when it comes to the most accurate test kit, I just can't tell from my limited testing I did today. So if I was to recommend which of the four ammonia test kits to buy, Red Sea. I mean, I'm not gonna hesitate with that. If you wanna save some money, go with API. It works just fine. Salifer is my least favorite one that worked. And then Seachem just didn't work at all for me. Oh, and by the way, I was not paid to say any of this. All right, that wraps up our first test kit video with ammonia. What is your favorite ammonia test kit and why? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Put a comment down below and let's start a conversation. This is just the first video in an entire test kit series. Our next test kit video is going to be nitrate. And I think I have seven different test kits to try. We're gonna be testing nitrate, we're gonna be testing calcium, and we're gonna be testing alkalinity. And we're gonna take all those test kits and do exactly what we just did and let you know which are our favorite and why. So until next time, happy reefing everybody.